free MACD histogram education, trading MACD histogram like a pro. Free MACD histogram education, trading MACD histogram like a pro. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, bonjour, bonsoir, mes amis, good morning, good tag, good nabed. For those of you who are new to us, we are the TSTW uh, 24 uh, Traders, and our website is www.stochastic-magd.com. The title of this video is a Free MACD Histogram Education, Trading MACD Histogram Like a Pro. Let's get started. In this tutorial, I want to share with traders a MACD Histogram trading tips and tricks that they can use for day trading, swing trading, and position uh, uh, trading, all right? Very, very important, all right? The first thing first that we must understand when we are using uh, any technical indicator, we want to understand, okay, the purpose of the technical indicator, okay? What is the role of uh, the MACD histogram, okay? The MACD histogram is uh, a technical indicator for MACD itself, all right? It is not, okay, a technical indicator for the price itself. It is a technical indicator for MACD itself. So when we are using the MACD histogram, we want to have a bit of idea when MACD will cross above or below its signal line. So in order to predict, all right, or to know in advance when MACD histogram, when MACD itself will go below its, its signal line or when MACD will go above its signal line, all right? So we have another indicator here, which is the MACD histogram, which is a technical indicator for MACD itself, okay? This technical indicator has been created by a gentleman called Thomas Asprey in 1986. And the ultimate role is to give a market participant, okay, a leading signal about MACD, not the price itself. So when we are looking at the MACD histogram and uh, we see a bullish divergence uh, for the MACD histogram is warning us that the MACD itself will soon, okay, cross above its signal line. On the other hand, when we see a MACD histogram divergence, all right, in comparison to MACD, all right, is alerting us that very soon MACD will go below its signal line. So to avoid day trading mistakes, swing trading mistakes, traders must know, okay, which technical indicator they are trading. So we are using what, what, what I like to call a secondary technical indicator because it's a technical indicator of another technical indicator, which is MACD itself. So once we clarify that, trader will be a little bit careful when they are using the MACD histogram because it's giving signal in relation to the MACD indicator itself, all right? But it doesn't mean that we cannot use the MACD histogram signal for trading the prior action. But I will show you in this video how one can use the MACD histogram when they are trading the price action because the price is the number one indicator, all right? So that's very, very important. So we clarify that, you know it now. So whenever you are using the MACD histogram, you know that you are using a technical indicator for MACD itself, all right? So I want to clarify again more what I've just said. So you can see here, the MACD histogram was uh, giving us, uh, going up, display a low and a higher low. Are you with me? All right. Is uh, this is uh, going up, telling us that the MACD histogram is becoming bullish. At the same time, okay, MACD itself was going down. This information here, this warning here, is alerting market participant that very soon MACD itself will go above its signal line, which it did here. So once you understand the information that. Uh, Okay, the MACD histogram is providing to us so we may know exactly what to expect instead of uh, entering the trade, okay, uh, prematurely, which means you enter the trade too early 
and then you are taking out before the prior will do exactly what you're expecting. So you want to know exactly how to use MACD histogram signal to time, okay, the price action, all right? Another information here, you can see that MACD display a high and a lower high, all right? At the same time, you can see that uh, uh, the MACD indicator itself was rising during that time. So it was rising, but the MACD histogram form a, a high and a lower high. This is a bearish divergence of MACD histogram, alerting us that uh, MACD itself will cross below a signal, which it did exactly there, here, all right? But if one is using MACD histogram and one is trading okay, MACD histogram instead of the price action, one will quickly get into trouble, all right? So the point I'm making here, if you look carefully here, if I place a vertical line here, okay, where MACD was giving us a bearish uh, divergence, MACD histogram instead, correction, MACD histogram was giving us uh, a bearish divergence. If one just sells straight away, sometimes it will be a wrong timing in the financial market, okay? Very, very important, all right? So the MACD histogram is uh, informing us about what is likely, okay, to happen to MACD itself, whether it's going to cross above its signal line or below its signal line, all right? Very, very important. I don't know I need to clarify quickly with traders. When we are talking about MACD crossing above its signal line, it means that Practically speaking, when we are trading, it means that the price will go above, okay, a bearish trend line. So here it is. You see here, look at this point here. MACD here crosses above its signal line. Pay attention to a vertical line. It's alerting us that the price will go above, okay, a bearish trend line. On the other hand, if MACD crosses below its signal line, Practically speaking, is alerting us that the price is about to cross below, okay, all right, a bullish trend line. But we must wait for the confirmation, which we call a direct trading signal, before we can sell, okay? All right, so you see here we have, uh, okay, again, look carefully here, mark the uh, histogram display a high and a lower high. This is a significant high followed by a, sig a lower, a significant, a significant, or uh, a minor high, a significant high, followed by a minor high given by the, 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 the MACD histogram. This is a very divergence at this point in time again. Okay, now if you sell straight away here, look carefully, pay attention to the vertical line. You can see that the price did not go down, but the price continued to go up until it breaks below, okay, this trend line and retest it here on the edge, but continue to go up. So one should not trade the MACD histogram straight away, but one should acknowledge the MACD histogram, understanding that it's giving a signal for MACD itself, and one must now wait for the price to confirm the warning before one can sell or buy without violating the three market pattern, rising channel, declining channel, and the horizontal channel. So this is a one important point that one should understand when one is also okay using the MACD histogram. All right. So I don't know. Apart from the MACD uh, divergences, we also have uh, okay MACD will give us leading uh, signal. All right. What do I mean by that? Which means MACD histogram will give us a warning that the price is about to go, but the warning will be too early. All right, so the warning will be there, but that's why we need to be patient until the price will give us a clear cut signal on the edge. If you look carefully here, there was a, you can see that MACD was crossing, was the, MACD histogram was giving a higher low, but you can see that the price was still in a declining channel. This is a leading signal. One must wait for the price to confirm it. And when, even when one is about to buy, one must make sure that one is buying at a support level and one is also selling at the resistance level. Okay? All right? All right? Now, I want to point out another information that uh, a lot of traders do not know. Okay, the significant high and the significant low for the MACD histogram. All right, so I'm on a four hour chart for the general electric stock that is listed on the Dow Jones 30. All right, it's part of the, uh, the Dow 30. All right, general electric, epic, epic uh, GE. All right, so you can see here we have a significant high. What do I mean by that? You can see that this is a significant high for the MACD histogram. It's quite high, isn't it? Yes? At the top, okay? There is no more space for it to go up. This is a significant high. 
The one thing we need to understand when we see a significant high for mark the histogram like this is it telling us also that there is increase in a bullish momentum. Now, that information, we need to wait for the price to confirm it. And I will show you how you do that, okay, in the next step when I'm talking about how to use MACD histogram to pinpoint key support and resistance level, okay? So significant high for MACD histogram is telling us that there is increase in bullish momentum. All right, now, another definition for the surge in bullish momentum or the increase in bullish momentum is that very soon, it means that very soon, the price will start displaying higher lows and higher high because the momentum will precede the price, uh, the price action, all right? The momentum will come first before the price action, all right? So if we see a significant high, it's alerting us that soon we will see a surge in bullish momentum. Very soon, the price will start displaying higher lows, higher high. If you look carefully here on the four hour chart, after this significant high of MACD histogram, all right, I will show you how you do that. You can see that later on, so this was happening here, where I place my vertical line now. You can see that later on, the price start going up very fast. You see here, this move here. So this information here, this increase in bullish momentum, this surge in bullish momentum is now confirmed by the price when the price start breaking the resistance on the left hand side and going up very fast. All right. The opposite is also true when we see a significant low for uh, the the MACD histogram. All right. We have one here. Significant low. You see here. This is a significant low for the MACD histogram. All right. It's also indicating to us that the bearish momentum is about to increase. But now, this is just a warning. The price does not have to obey, all right? The MACD histogram is a warning that the bearish momentum is significant here, all right? So the next thing we need to do is to pay attention to the price until the price will confirm this warning. Here you can see so far, the price did not go up, it did not go down because we are talking about significant low, increase in bearish momentum, significant high increase or surge in bullish momentum. But here we are looking at the price itself. We don't want to sell straight away. We will wait for a confirmation. If there is no confirmation, well, we can't force it, okay? So you see here the price was consolidating after this surge in bearish momentum, all right? But the price is now breaking above, okay? The Okay, the consolidation zone. So for us, this information, we can still acknowledge this information. What we need to do now is to pay attention to the price when it reaches a significant resistance level, which is this level here. So now it starts going up. If it reaches this level, we want to see whether that trader will start selling, whether this information here is correct or not. So pay attention to the significant high and the significant low when you are using the MACD histogram. Next step. The next thing that you need to understand when you see a significant high, I'm going to change my time frame now. I'm going to go to the daily chart. So, all right, so we have some significant high. This is a significant high here, all right? This is another significant high here. Okay, so I'm going to highlight them on the chart. And I want to show you some one uh, specific uh, MACD histogram tips that you can use, okay, to improve your MACD histogram trading like a pro, all right? So I'm going to highlight again a significant low here, and I will talk about it also, and I will show you exactly what you need to pay attention to, all right? When we see a significant high like this, all right, what you need to do practically, you need to highlight, so this is a significant high for the MACD histogram, you need to highlight the price level corresponding to that significant high. All right, so we see a significant high for MACD histogram at this point in time. This, the, the, the key level that we are watching is this point here, the price display this higher high. All right, so you see here, significant high, you highlight the key level corresponding to the significant high, okay? Here it is, we have another significant high. It's corresponding to what? Look carefully, place the vertical line there. It's corresponding to almost the same level as we have seen here. All right, so when you see a significant high like this and you highlight the level that is corresponding to that significant high for the MACD histogram, if at one point, so it happened here, if at one point the price goes above that significant high, that significant price level, and the final support as it did here, we will, we will consider that as a bullish trading setup. 
not a bullish trading signal, but a bullish trading setup. So here, okay, this is because the price breaks, finally breaks the ball, that key level that corresponds to the significant high for the MACD histogram. Now the price breaks the ball, that key level, and we test it here, this is a bullish a trading setup. We will now use a multiple time frame trading method to trade it. This is a bullish trade setup. All right, so you see here how you use it here, okay? If we see a significant low, okay, so there is one here. This is a significant low. Pay attention to my cursor. We will highlight again, okay, the key level that is corresponding to that significant high, which is this level here. So what we need to do, we will place a line there. And if this is a significant low, if the price D below that level at one point, which it did here, but it went a little bit too fast, you see here, if it D below that key level and find a resistance, this is a bearish a trading setup. All right? Another thing I need to mention to you, because I don't want the video to be too long, I'll be talking to you now for 15 minutes, all right, is that when we see a significant high like this for the MACD histogram, and... In the future, so it happened here, okay, it happened here. If we, if the MACD histogram comes to the same level, we will consider that the MACD histogram is likely to start going down at this point in time because it's a kind of a resistance level for the MACD histogram itself. So this significant high is pointing to us a key resistance level for the MACD histogram itself. So as you can see, it happens here. But in the future, as you can see, the, uh, the monthly histogram reached the cell level. And this is a significant high, and it starts changing direction. All right, it makes sense, you see here? So we can also, from this point, you see, we see this significant high here for the monthly histogram. Now, monthly histogram is at the same level. We can expect MACD itself to slowly by gradually start going below its signal line because MACD histogram is now at a, a resistant level. The same is true for a... a a significant low so we have a significant low here so this is a, a support level for the MACD histogram itself now we can see it happens here the MACD histogram return to the same key level we will expect the MACD histogram to start changing direction here which is alerting us that soon MACD itself will go above its signal line which it did here but you can see that the warning was given to us here by uh, the MACD histogram this is a leading signal Okay, for the MACD histogram, alerting us that soon MACD will go above its signal line, which it did here. But once again, the MACD histogram is a technical indicator for the MACD itself. We are not trading the MACD histogram, and we are not trading MACD itself. We are trading the price action. So we must always acknowledge the warning given to us by the MACD histogram, but wait until the price itself confirms, okay, the warning without violating the market pattern. Okay, it makes sense. So here you can see MACD start going above the signal line after the MACD histogram is at the support level. All right. The same thing happened again here. You can see it's a key support level for the MACD histogram. It's a significant low. Here again, MACD histogram reached the same level and now it starts changing direction again, alerting us that MACD uh, soon, MACD indicator itself, soon will cross above the signal line. You can see that a warning was given to us here that MACD, hist MACD itself will uh, cross above the signal line. But you can see this is a leading signal for MACD itself. But finally, MACD crosses above the signal line. But once again, if you are trading the histogram or the MACD itself, suppose you buy straight away here, you may, it's not the right way forward. You want to wait for the price to confirm it, pay attention to the price, acknowledge, okay, the MACD histogram uh, trading signal. Okay, know that that signal is for MACD itself, but wait until the price confirm it without violating the market pattern. Here we have a consolidation, so the best approach is to look for opportunity to buy below and to sell above the consolidation. One will become very bullish if the price goes above, okay, the consolidation and find a support. All right, one step at a time. So acknowledge the warning and then switch your attention to the price step. So what I usually do, you see here, TC2000, allow me to zoom into the, 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 the technical indicator to see clearly what is on the chart, and then I close it down, all right? So I don't want to, I see it already. I know the meaning of the warning. I shut them down, okay? Now I want to ex expand, okay, the price itself, okay? So I want to concentrate on the price, and I will zoom into it to make excellent decision around key support and resistance level, paying attention to the price action itself. 
All right, it makes sense. It makes sense. It is also powerful. So the general teaching so far is that uh, MACD divergence, bullish divergence by MACD bearish divergence. So, okay, but remember, those divergences are related to MACD itself. But we are now waiting for the price to confirm it, and we will trade the price itself. All right, okay. So what I say to traders all the time, in order to fool a day trader or swing trader, is to make that trader trade something else that is not the price. So do not trade the histogram and do not take trade the MACD. Use the histogram and the MACD to confirm, okay, uh, the price action, okay, all right, or use the price action to confirm the MACD histogram or the MACD itself. The bottom line is that the MACD histogram is a technical indicator for MACD itself. It makes sense? It makes sense? All right. So another thing I want to clarify here with traders, okay, is that when we see, suppose we see a significant high, okay, uh, I'm looking for a very good example, okay. Here it is, you see here, we see a significant low for over, okay, a minor low. All right, this is a significant low. What does it mean? It's meaning, it's meaning that uh, we have increasing bearish momentum. But now we have a minor low. It's telling us that because we go from a significant low to a minor low, it's indicating to us that the bearish momentum is diminishing. All right, the opposite is also true. When we see a significant high followed by a minor high, it's alerting us that the bullish momentum is diminishing. But we must now wait for the price, as you can see here, significant high followed by significant, okay, uh, significant high followed by significant, followed by uh, a minor high, okay. Let me correct myself again. The significant high that is followed by a minor high is alerting us that the bullish momentum is diminishing, but one must wait for the price to confirm it. As you can see here, that information was given to us here. Look what the price was doing. The price on this daily chart went horizontal, okay, before breaking below the consolidation and retesting here. Though the warning was given to us here, the sell uh, setup, the bearish trade setup is taking place right here. It makes sense? Another thing I want to clarify with traders, I'm going to go quickly to the weekly chart. Uh, weekly chart, so I think I mentioned most of the thing. Another thing that trader can use, uh, talking about uh, free MACD histogram education, trading MACD histogram like a pro. I want to show you one clear cut example. It's about the chart patterns. The MACD histogram also can exhibit or can display also chart patterns. You can see also a double bottom chart pattern for the MACD histogram. When we see that, especially the equal low, a double bottom with equal low for the MACD histogram is alerting us that soon we may see a reversal, especially on quarterly chart, weekly chart, monthly chart, and yearly chart. So here we are, we have an equal low for the MACD histogram. You can see that for traders who understand the area wave pattern, we have a, a, a zigzag pattern. We have a training phase followed by what? Okay, a zigzag pattern. The zigzag pattern is the corrective phase. So this move here, this is what we call the multi wave, followed by the correction phase, which is a zigzag. And now we see a MACD histogram with an equal low. This is alerting us that we are likely to see a reversal at this point in time. But once again, for a reversal to take place at the end of the earlier wave cycle, which is multi wave plus corrective phase, all right, we must now go do what? Go to Google Finance, Yahoo Finance, check the economy news. Check the balance sheet, check the financial, all right? And then we will ascertain whether the financial instrument has passed at least the Google Finance Asset Test. If the financial instrument has passed at least Google Asset Test, all right? We are now checking the market environment, okay? What is the S&P 500 itself is doing? So we don't want to violate the market itself, talking about the trading triangle, the market first, the sector, before the individual financial instrument, all right? So here, we will be very careful, and then we will use a top-down trading method to trade it. But the information is here to us. We have a double bottom chart pattern given by the MACD histogram, alerting to us that we are likely to see a reversal at this point in time. We will now proceed to check the financial, the economy news, the fundamental, and then we'll use a top-down trading method to trade it on the edge.
This is a beautiful warning here. You will also see sometimes what we call a double top chart pattern that the MACD histogram will exhibit on a higher time frame. All right, I'm looking for one example here. Uh, uh, you see, we have again another double bottom here, a double bottom. Here, look at it. The pattern is again the same pattern, one, two, three. Price went down in one, two, three. All right, on this uh, weekly chart. I'm not, I, I can't see any double top now, but just remember that when you see a double top, it's also if the MACD histogram exhibits a double top chart pattern, it's also indicating to us that a reversal is likely to take place after an uptrend, okay? So you see again that in the downtrend, one, two, three, and the MACD histogram from what? Equal low. Repeat, equal low. Not any kind of double bottom pattern, a double bottom pattern with equal low. Here it is. It's alerting now to us that it is alerting us that uh, okay soon we may see a reverse at this point in time. TSTWSYS is your a traders, swing traders. We use we use a top down trading method to trade it. It makes sense. It is also uh, powerful. All right. So we can also use the MACD histogram to highlight okay key support and resistance level. So what do I mean by that? We see a significant high or a significant low. We want to draw. The key level that is corresponding that to that significant high of the MACD histogram. This will allow us to use the MACD histogram to pinpoint key support and resistance level. All right. I will go over this very fast, and I will be recording other videos in the future to clarify. Okay, each point more deeply. Okay, makes sense. So each significant high or significant low correspond to a key support and resistance level. It makes sense. Okay, it is also powerful, especially on the higher time frame. All right, so remember everything that we have discussed. We talk about that uh, MACD histogram is uh, a technical indicator for the MACD itself. It's not a direct uh, technical indicator for the price. It's an indirect uh, technical indicator for the price action. All right, a MACD histogram divergences. We are left us that MACD is about to cross above or below its signal line. Okay, very, very important. The significant low of the MACD histogram is also alerting us that the bearish momentum is increasing, while the significant high of the MACD histogram is also alerting us that there is a surge in the bullish momentum. All right, these are essential things that they must understand when they are using the MACD histogram. The bottom line is that one is not trading the MACD histogram itself, one is trading the price action. The price must give us a direct signal. The MACD histogram is giving us an indirect signal or warning. The price must always confirm those warnings. All right. I will uh, record more videos about the MACD histogram. I will be talking about uh, MACD divergences in normal condition among the divergences in abnormal condition. What is a normal condition in the financial market? What is abnormal market condition? And I will be going a little bit deeper and deeper, okay? This is the end of uh, this uh, free MACD histogram education. Okay, we hope uh, you have learned something from it and will put into use, okay, to make excellent day trading, swing trading, and position trading decisions. The trick that we want traders to use is that Remember, we are looking first for a trading setup, all right? When we see a trading setup, we, want, we must now implement a top-down trading method without violating the three market pattern. One will always combine the technical analysis with the fundamental. What we are discussing here is about MACD histogram. It's a technical analysis. One should not ignore Google Finance, Yahoo Finance, and the forexfactory.com if one is trading a forex. If you have any question, all right, put in the comment section. And in due course, I will record another video to answer your specific question, all right? If you have any comment, or right, I put it in the comment section. And I always read my comments, okay? And we appreciate, okay, your interactions, okay, on YouTube. We wish you the very best in your trading. And until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are the TSTW24 traders talking about free MACD histogram education, trading MACD histogram like a pro. Happy trading to you all and speak to you soon.